Good morning gamers, welcome back to Phantom Games, and if you watched the previous video, you know why I'm wearing the same shirt in this one. This is day 26, this is the official video for this day, when we are doing the hashtag my 30 day world. It was presented by, we're doing the hashtag my 30 day world challenge, as it was presented by Absolute Tabletop in conjunction with their Kickstarter, A Dead Man's Guide to Dragon Grin. This Kickstarter started way back in March, and I missed it. <sighs> but that's okay. Once it comes out on hardback, and I'll have it. So, we're doing their 30-day challenge, which is all, all about world building. So, let's get on with it. And for those of you who've been watching or haven't been watching, I run... I, uh, I'm doing this... Bushy. This is only the second cup. I didn't even finish the first cup from the last video. <sighs> Alright. So, as you know, I split these into two parts. Part A is usually my Formantum game, and Part B is usually my D&D game. Last video, I had those swapped, but that's okay. That's the last video. That's not this one. So, let's get into this. What deities... Dwell in your realm. Are they involved? Well, in my Phantom game, the deities don't necessarily dwell in the realm. They kind of just throw everything in a junk drawer. Phantom is the junk drawer of the human uh, divine the, of the the gods. Everything human, I'll just put it in a drawer. <laughs> it's, that's Phantom. So, are they involved? Yes and no. They do not directly involve themselves with what's going on in the Phantom world. But there are races that you can, or classes that you can choose where you are angel, demon. Now these are OP classes, and I've stated this in my in the in the game game book itself. The classes are OP. Unless you're running a, a game that centers around these, they're OP. They are game-breaking power classes. They're power category above everything else. Way above everything else. But there are angels and demons. And you can play in angels or demons. But necessarily don't, just because an angel doesn't mean good and a demon doesn't mean bad. Because an angel in a fire would be a demon of water cross elements so um but there are angels and demons and they're probably the most where the the gods interact mostly the and then i have what's called street prophets which are um half angels or half demons they're uh they're not as powerful. They fit a little bit more in, but they're the you know the guys that you see standing on the corner. The end is near. The end is near. Eh, they're probably a street prophet, which means they're probably half divine. So that is my phantom game. The gods are involved subtly, well, somewhat subtly, depending on which campaign you're on. You know, which depending on how you want to do it. Now, in my D and D campaign, uh, there's a limited god. They are not they are not the traditional D and D deities. Uh, so when I have to run a campaign setting or run a when I run decide to run a module and they mention D and you know certain deities, I have to go through it. Okay, oh no, that's not right. I have to switch it out to this one here and this one here and this one here. Um, and are my deities do, do they dwell in my realm? Possibly. The uh, are they involved? Oh yes, there are certain ones that do certain things, and they use their representatives. I have, I, have, I love uh, cleric is one of my favorite classes. So I love involving the divine, and. The way religion works in my D&D &E world is if you are, like any cleric can resurrect. A war cleric eventually will get the spell for resurrection. But 
when he does so, he is no longer praying to a war god. He prays to the god of life to bring, or the god of death, to allow for the resurrection. Because they work in a pantheon. You don't pray, you pray for your god, you're, you have a patron, but the other gods in the pantheon, you pray for them for whatever power would be based in their realm. And that's how they, like our clerics work. Uh, so are they involved? Yes, they're, they're involved fairly well. So... What else can I say about the clerics and the involvement of the deities? Are they Nazi vampires? Uh, so yeah, the deities do dwell in the realm. Uh, are they involved to a minor thing? Have the players run into them? Mm, they've run into really powerful clerics. That have helped them out and have guided them on their path. So that's all I got for now, guys. If you like these videos, please click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, please click on the share button. Every like is an inspiration, every share is an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. Help me reach 300 experience points so I can get to second level. And don't forget... For every video that you share, I, the AMDM, will give you 10 experience points. All you gotta do is share the video and tell your DM. That's it. Share the video, tell your DM, and you get 10 experience points. That's all I got for now, guys. I gotta go to work. Oh, uh, since I'm well again... Sunday we will be doing, I'll be back doing our, um, yes, the thing with the thing. Uh, Sunday night will be Bridgewater Nights, and then the Thursday will be the Tarim campaign. And we're running down, we are winding down on these little challenges. We've got one, two, a three, four more to go. And then I will be doing... DM, GM, DM, whatever you want to call it, tips. So look forward to that. That's going to be the next 30 day challenge stuff. That's going to be a lot of fun. That's all I got for now. So I'll see you guys in the next game. Bye bye. I got to change that. Hmm.